What's going on guys? It's Carl here back with a very, very special episode. Back to school season is in full effect. It's crazy to think that it's already August. It is the best back to school laptop, but first, we've got something very, very special. I'm actually teaming up today with both Microsoft and Staples, so big shout outs to them for sponsoring today's episode because they have something very special that you guys can win. <laughs> It is a back to school locker that you guys can win. And as you probably guessed, there is a ton of swag inside. The first of course is the very laptop that we're looking at, which is the Surface Pro. Second, some kicks from Adidas, pair of shades from Ray-Bans, a $50 gift card to Urban Outfitters, and of course all the stuff that you need back to school, pens, pencils, crayons, pencil sharpeners, erasers, Galore. It is a swag filled back to school locker that you can win. All the info, of course, is down below in the description. And I'm actually giving you guys two awesome chances to win this sweet back to school locker. I've actually got this very pick up on Insta, so make sure you go follow me over there and I will pick someone random both from there and, of course, the entry that you'll read up in the description. So for me, a back to school laptop kind of consists of four different things. Of course, the price point, versatility, portability, and of course, battery life. We'll get to the first thing, which is price. And although the base end comes in around 700, 800 bucks, I would spec it up to the mid-tier model. I've gone for the i5. It's got 256 gigs of storage and eight gigs of RAM. This is the spec that I would go for and should last you your entire university back to school career. Portability wise, the Surface Pro is a great compromise as it still has a 12.3 inch screen, so nice and large for viewing content, but is just around 1.7 pounds. So whether you're fitting this into your backpack, carrying it around just on campus, you shouldn't feel too much fatigue when you lug this guy around the entire day to all your classes. And of course, remember, you can always detach the detachable keyboard and just carry this guy alone as a dedicated tablet. The nice thing about the Microsoft lineup, even when you have it detached from say the keyboard, it is still a fully operational operating system, unlike say something mobile like an iPad Pro. You still have all the versatility and you can still bring up a virtual keyboard if needed. And if you combine it say with a Surface Pen, this becomes perfect for jotting down notes in class. I know most of you just end up downloading lecture notes just like I did not too long ago. I was a student, just jot down beside any additions that you need, highlight anything that you want, and of course save them after awesome little combo right here. When you want to become a bit more productive, whether that's in class, you're back at your dorm or back at home when you're typing out essays, that's where you attach it to the, once again, detachable keyboard. And this is one of the best in the industry. It's got a fully mechanical keyboard, which is nice and sturdy. You can still use it on your lap and it has the thing which you need the most, which is that good old trackpad, which is awesome to have in a combined all-in-one. Obviously, as it's a back to school device, you'll be typing a ton of documents using Microsoft Word, staying up till 3, 4 a.m., your last minute essays, making PowerPoint decks for presentations the next day. I know that Microsoft has done a ton to improve their software and they've made it so much easier. And I kind of wish I could have made these things back when I was in school. Despite it being an all-in-one, it still has the necessary USB port so you can run extra accessories off of this guy. It's got a great front-facing cam so you can take selfies or even Skype with your friends. And like I mentioned, it has a full operating system of Windows on it. So if I wanna download some games, play some StarCraft II, play some Fortnite, some PUBG, just tweak the settings, maybe run them on medium. You should be getting those chicken dinners, no problem. And last but not least, the thing I think you'll need to remember the most is of course battery life. There's no use having a computer, bringing it around with you the entire day, unless it of course lasts the distance. This guy, I've got around 12 and a half, maybe 13. I know Microsoft has claimed 13 and a half hours of battery life. That is still a very long time on a full charge. Of course, you can juice it up quickly as you go, but it should last you the entire day, whether you're gaming, whether you're doing back to school stuff, writing essays, staying up super late, chatting with your friends. The Surface Pro is honestly being great and a very solid option for a back to school device. 
Anyways, that is my back to school recommendation for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's very fun episode and I hope you enjoyed the chance for you guys to win this awesome back to school locker. Just remember to check out both Microsoft and Staples for all of your back to school needs. And remember, info in the description to win this massive giveaway. Best of luck to you all. And of course, if you are heading back to school this September, have a ton of fun and good luck. I will catch the rest of you. One of my next episodes, put up the deuces too early. That's okay. Catch you guys then. Peace. <laughs>